Good morning everybody, I hope you're all doing well today. So we are back at it again today, we are off in the garden. I feel like it's a never ending task but it's something that we both really really enjoy. We just went out for our usual morning walk in the garden with the cats and while we were out there we started thinking of things we could get up to and things we want to do. So if you watched my last garden video you'll know that Dom is on a mission to create me a raised bed which I'm very happy about. I've got heaps of raspberry plants that desperately need planting so the sooner it's done the better. So this morning we're going to do the Etsy orders which I won't show you <laughs> because it's just our normal work life. Then once we're finished with that we're going to head off to B&Q, maybe to Morrison's Garden Centre and just have a look around and um, see what we can pick up. We need to get some really boring things like screws <laughs> um, and other bits like that but I'll bring you guys along because I know some of you really like to see different hardware stores and you know just be out in the real world as well rather than just being stuck at home with me um, and then yeah we'll, we'll see what we get up to but I will check in with you guys in a little bit and I hope that you all really enjoy this video today personally I am so looking forward to just spending some time outside feels pretty chilly out there so hopefully it warms up I am freezing after our little <laughs> mooch outside so I've got the washing machine on it's gonna be a good and productive day <laughs> we are back from the shops it was so nice to get out and about with Dom I'm often the one that's out in the world doing things so it's nice to bring him along I'll do a little impromptu garden <laughs> shop haul um, I picked up some really nice bits so I'll show you the random stuff first we obviously got three ginormous bags of compost it was the cheapest option to fill the raised bed so hopefully fingers crossed that gets done today and um, Dom's gonna do it when he comes out in a little while but I got some screws not screws nails to I want to train some of the clematis that we've got in the garden with some string and so I need some of these to nail them in I also need to attach some of the lattice the wooden things um do a better job because some of them have fallen down so that's what they're for and I think I can do that by myself I also got myself a nice new pair of gloves, very light gloves. My other pair had a hole in them, so these are going to stay clean for all of about five seconds. I feel like they're already dirty just from being in here, but they're super pretty and they were like a pound. I don't know why they were so cheap. Um, and then this big old dust pen and brush, which is going to come in so handy. As you guys know, we have, I think it's, oh, I always get it wrong and doubt myself, a Camilla or Camellia tree plant and it's been sick all over the floor um, there are little red petals everywhere and this is just going to make that job a lot easier <laughs> for the rest of our life and then I got a few different plants so I got a raspberry plant to go in the raised bed hopefully that's the right thing to do with a raspberry plant but I love raspberries so I'm looking forward to having those in my life it's going to go with the strawberries I got this oh my gosh this is so pretty <laughs> look so honeysuckle, because honeysuckle, I believe hopefully this one's the same. It is, oh, get away. 
<laughs> loves gardening, hates bugs. Um, it's an evergreen which I want to go across the um, kitchen so of our house. If you've watched me for a while you'll know that last year we had the most gorgeous clematis coming across. Unfortunately it's kind of died back. It's regrown a little bit but it's going to take some time to come over again. Um, but it dies back every year like you're supposed to chop it back and obviously when it dies back the leaves all fall off and it doesn't look great so I want something that's pretty so you can't see but just outside here there are some <sighs> a breath some honeysuckle plants and they stay green all year and it just looks really pretty and adds so much colour to the garden so that's the plan and if it makes flowers like this this year I will be very very happy because they are beautiful they kind of look a bit like a dragon or like an alien like... <laughs> okay and then the last two I got two clematis and um, just two very similar but different so I loved this one it's got like I don't know just really pretty leaves and then this one's like raggedy looking leaves it's focusing on me, little plant. Hello! <laughs> but I just thought they were really pretty, so I was originally going to plant one of these with the clematis and the honeysuckle, but I think it might be too much, so we'll see. Um, but I've got lots of other places to put <laughs> these. Um, so yeah, I'm going to spend a bit of time in the garden now, just planting and pottering on. Um, I've got some sunflowers to repot as well. That's the other thing. I'll be right back. I've got these trays for when I do repot all of the sunflowers so there'll be <coughs> there'll be lots of pots like this in a row and it just means I've got something down my throat <coughs> the outdoors is trying to kill me it just means that if I want to put them out in the sunshine I don't have to take them out one by one like I did last year so I got two of these and I am fingers crossed they fit on the greenhouse shelf but yes so there are the few jobs I'm going to do and I will bring you guys along as we potter on and then at some point Dom's going to come out and we will crack on with the raised bed. actually roasting out here so the next thing I'm gonna do is plant this guy because um, I'm most excited about this <laughs> so this is where I want it to go um, I, th I don't know if this is a lupin I might be wrong with that but this is the clematis that <laughs> was really established and then it died but it's come back to life at the bottom there then we've got this beautiful rose tree here but as you can see the clematis comes to about here we need it to go all the way across Hi Echo. <laughs> so that's the plan, I'm going to pop him in. I think I might put it here so it's got enough space for its own roots and then just kind of lead it across and then get it to go up. So we'll see how that goes. Darling, you've got to keep holding on through the night if you try to get some sleep if you give up the fight if only just for a bit. so this is the lattice that's fallen down but i don't think it needs to be here anymore because there's so much going on here so i'm going to think about where else to put it maybe further down here in this spot or down there a little bit too but first things first I've got to wrestle it out of that spot it's in There's a new day to leave behind your troubles There's a new day and it will say
So up next I want to plant my little sunflowers, unfortunately not many made it through this year which I'm not sure why. You might have seen, I don't know if I showed you today or in a different vlog, I've got another whole one of these which is 12, 10, 10. Um, and I replanted them all again just to see, I wasn't sure if I'd done something wrong or maybe the seeds are just past their best, I'm not really sure, but alas we have what is it, four, four sunflowers here that look quite happy. So what I'm gonna do is just plant them into much bigger plant pots and then I can pop them all in a tray. I might also move the greenhouse today because it's in, we call it the bush shelter <laughs> next door um, and I don't think it's getting as much light. So I'm gonna move it, we'll see how we do with it. Um, it does get really, really hot in there though. So that's my only worry is I don't wanna kill everything like I did last year, but I might just leave the door open and they should get nice and toasty in there. Um, I also, need to plant out my ah, sweet peas. I know I'm probably getting ahead of myself and I think you're supposed to wait till mid-May to do all of this but I've already planted some sweet peas out and they did absolutely fine through all the frost and I think these guys are ready to spread their little roots and skyrocket so I'm going to plant them around the obelisk that I've got already out in the garden but all is going well so far. I'm really happy with where I put the new clematis and the actual lattice thing. Um, I've put them just behind the swing so hopefully in a few months we get a nice little background um, for the swing and it should smell really nice. Don't remind me that bees are going to be there and I, I'm not a fan of bees but it will look pretty so <laughs> maybe it's not the best idea thinking about it now but oh well I can move the swing if I need to. <laughs> They look so cute and hopefully they grow big and strong like they did last year. I've got no idea what variety it is that's actually grown and I'm hoping whatever it is that keeps eating them packs it in. <laughs> right, I'm gonna, I think, go and plant the sweet peas. I don't know why I'm bending down. <laughs> I'm gonna go plant the sweet peas and then probably move the greenhouse and then I think other than just checking on all of the climbers that they're all okay, I think that's pretty much it for what I need to get done out here today. But there's always something to do so I'm sure I'll be able to find something else to crack on with. It's looking a bit crowded down here so this is the sweet pea that I planted before but then there's all this other stuff going on. So I think I'm just going to separate it all off and then um, plant the other sweet peas around here and they'll look beautiful in summer once they get going.
the power woman. Stamp right on the thing. Which bit? Right on the crack. Stamp on it. Hard to stamp. Ow. Harder. Harder. <laughs> stamp on it, right on the crack. Oh, it's nice. Imagine, imagine wheel in it. So this um, big old tree, <laughs> it was in here. And uh, yeah, it's too long now, but it was too big to do anything with. So Dom's having the horrible task now of chopping it up, which is much easier now. It's completely dead. Um, so yes, and then we're on with the raised bed, aren't we? Yeah, let's get cracking. Many an argument to be had about what it's going to look like. Darling. A debate. A debate. Sorry. We don't argue. We bicker. <laughs> we bicker like old people. <laughs> we even bicker about whether we argue. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so this grass will come out, won't it? Yeah, well, yeah, as much as it needs to. Yeah, I think in line with the compost bin, which make quite a deep one. Can we move the scraps? I can't move the shine. I'm trying to do roots. Go on, with the perfect side. Put your just a bit too big. Yeah, but almost right. So, step back and do the visual bodies. Slightly drenched, but yeah. It, the greenhouse is back it just looks like summer i absolutely love this being here i said it's a shame because you can't see the jasmine and the clematis climber but it is really nice and i love it so yes i've got my sunflowers lined up hopefully these will be in the raised border very soon and um, potentially along with this guy but i need to do a bit of research about raspberries i don't want it to take over i think i might at some point take this layer of grass out. I was unsure because I didn't know if we would be putting this greenhouse back here. Um, as you know we were gonna have a big old greenhouse but we didn't we didn't get there this year so not sure but oh it just looks so summery. I keep hearing lots of rights from over here so I think we're cracking on. How's it going? It's going. <laughs> it's coming together quickly. It feels good to be reusing wood rather than buying new. I bet you've not got I don't think we do, but b and is open a while. Ah, such a nice day. Bridges keep falling down. So I've come back in to make a coffee for Dom and I am gonna have a round cheese push up, yum. I got these for days like today when it's really hot, when we are using a lot of energy. Um, and I absolutely love, I love the strawberry flavour. I wish you could just get the strawberry flavour. So we've got this really naughty habit of, in fact, I say we, it's mostly Dom, he's the bad influence. I was coming in here to make tea. Can you not? What's the matter? <laughs> I was coming in here to make some food for us, some healthy food, and he was like, I've heard that gardening days are Indian days. 
and I can't say no so we're gonna have an Indian and um, so I'll show you guys what I get because I'm gonna try and get something that's a bit healthier <laughs> my wedding dress arrives next week and I really don't want to feel puffy and bloated for it but I've got quite a while till then and hey you have to live and I'm with Dom in that you know I wanted to say it's a naughty habit but actually it's a delicious habit <laughs> I think it usually happens because when you're in the garden you end up burning so many calories just wandering around you do more like manual jobs as well so it's what we usually do. I'd love to know if you guys do it too or if you're much more organised and sensible than we are and you prepare your tea beforehand. I love that yesterday's video was like, get healthy with me, my healthy routine. Um, I literally do stick to my routine 90% of the time and then there has to be some room for life in between. So yes, I went to the gym this morning. I've eaten my healthy food so far and I'm going to so enjoy eating my tea and I think that's what life's about, it's about not being too restrictive. What is the matter? Oh, oh, what? <laughs> Have you ever seen a grumpier cat? Have you ever seen a grumpier cat? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have enough single pieces of wood to make this back piece, but we do have lots of random offcuts and we've got the pallets. So I'm gonna stitch lots of pieces together using the pallet wood. And also the space that we're fitting it into isn't a perfect rectangle. So if you're wondering why this piece goes onto the side but that piece goes off the back, it's because we're gonna make like a weird kind of like a trapezium. I love the fact that nothing in our life is symmetrical or straight. The house, every single wall is a different angle and the garden is no different. I think it's quirks like that that just make cottages so cute <laughs> and a little bit challenging. annoying. Yeah, challenging to deal with with things like this. But we're getting there now, it's looking good. I think we are going to definitely need to go back to B&Q for more compost, but we'll see if we get it done before, <laughs> before it gets dark. <laughs> How come the sky is sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. Could it 
So the pyjamas are on, I've got my nice moisturiser on, freshly showered, got all the dirt out of my nails. We didn't quite get finished today but we are going to continue on tomorrow and as promised I'll show you guys my Indian. We're just going to snuggle up now on the sofa and I'm just going to tune out. I think that's the easiest thing to do when you've been gardening or doing anything in general that's really really busy is to just let yourself switch off at the end of the day um, and then we're going to pick up where we left off tomorrow afternoon to go get some more soil and I need to plant all of my little babies but it was amazing Dom did such a good job of the raised bed I absolutely love it and I can't wait to show you guys it all finished tomorrow so yes I will show you my Indian and then I will catch up with you guys probably in a few seconds but tomorrow for me <laughs> so here we have it um i've got some egg fried rice and then i got the chicken tikka sizzler which is chicken tikka pieces with some pepper and tomato and garlic and onion and then obviously a few chips because i feel like honestly we've deserved them today <laughs> echo's just waiting patiently while <laughs> we've put something on tv not sure what we're gonna watch yet but it's gonna be just nice to put my feet up i feel very very <laughs> tired after today Oh, is there any better feeling? So I'm back again and I need to finish this project off. So we just need to get the soil we just got from B&Q and then I'm going to plant everything. Then we are done and I am so ready for it to be done. It's another lovely day. Um, nice and warm but not as sunny as it was yesterday but perfect weather really for finishing this, this little job off. So we've got the grass down, giving us flashbacks to this time last year. Um, we were both amazed by how perfectly this piece that we just got from B&Q fit in here. <laughs> it couldn't be any better and then this random off cut just fits in here pretty much perfectly. There's just a tiny gap there. I'm awful at putting the grass down so Dom's going to come and <laughs> deal. It's got a bit of a quiff going on but it's looking so good. Really really happy with it and we decided to take one of the stepping stones out so that makes sense and you can just go down here now to the compost bin love it so we're pretty much done out here i think we just need to hallelujah <laughs> fill the compost back up from the bed that i just stole to make the grass it's still a little bit lumpy bumpy not gonna lie and um of course we could just go to the internet and ask the internet but you are the internet and you're more like a, like a family so family knowledge is there a way to raise you know to level grass once it's already down or do i need to keep going through that hole Cuffuffle, you know, lifting up bits at a time and just stuffing them. Anyway, we're gonna. You said that it felt like you were doing an operation, didn't you? Yeah, I felt or like I was doing <laughs> doing an examination on Mother Earth. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so the um, soil that's in there is not gonna, like, we're not gonna need all of that to fill the bed, um, but we've still got lots of flower beds that are way too low from way back when. So we'll put it into the wheelbarrow and then we can put it where we need it, and then the job will be a good one. You can't control who you fall for. No. 
now the moment we've all been waiting for, I can finally plant my strawberries. So I think I'm going to do them in rows of three and then I've got one raspberry plant and I'm going to get another one and plant them together at the bottom down at this end. But we'll see. I might have space for even more potentially. But I'm not sure how big strawberry plants grow. Some of you are probably watching this cringing so I can only apologise. <laughs> Is complete yay <laughs> oh, I'm so pleased that's done and I need to get one more raspberry and then I think I need to get a net to go over the top so all of the birds don't eat our berries once they come through so the next thing I need to do is just <laughs> have a bit of a tidy up so in here it is a bit of a disaster the um, the mirror was on this screw but we've found out that the screw has actually snapped so I'm not putting the mirror back up right now because uh, I love this mirror and I don't want it to break and also it costs a fortune. <laughs> so I need some answers of what to do with this room. We're thinking of putting some gutter in along the back and bringing the pipe in for the water butt so that we can collect our rainwater. Um, obviously <laughs> need to finish painting it. I was thinking of having it as like a little like a meditation area or just like a nice place to come because once it's not chaos it's actually a really nice place to be but I need to think of what to do and like how to make it look nice but alas oh look at how cute it looks I think I'm also going to get rid of this table because it's doing my head in and the bins are going to have to go there through the summer as well because they smell so bad through the summer um, we had them in here last year but that just seemed like such a waste because it's such a nice little little room and you can come in here even when it's raining so anyway next clean up and then I think we're all done because you can't control who you fall So we've just got the wheelbarrow to put away. <laughs> Dom looks like he's making a big pot of soup or something. Um, <laughs> the sun's come out for us just as we were about to go inside and it looks so nice. So we, <laughs> we're having to get rid of some of the stuff out of here because the bin men wouldn't take this because it was too heavy, it was full of grass. So we're just putting some in the compost. But I've had a good tidy up 
this all needs to go to the tip mostly, not the chairs, but all of this wood. Um, some of this is going to be repurposed for other bits and then yeah this can just be recycled so rather than putting it in the landfill bin we're going to take it to the actual tip and this needs cutting up a little bit more <laughs> which is a mission but I've given this the best sweep I could um, under here I've noticed it's actually getting really mossy so I'm not a fan of that um, and then we've got a load of breeze blocks there that we kept for if we did have a greenhouse we may still at some point hello <laughs> so we've kept them for now Whew, looking a bit uh, a bit bedraggled now but it is all done I really hope you've enjoyed that project I know this video has been quite long but I know a lot of you who watch my garden videos do like the longer video so I hope that it was satisfying I personally feel so happy the garden looks so much tidier we've still got some bits to get on with but on the whole I am a happy K so I am going to be posting more often at this point I haven't committed to how often or when but I have half committed to myself that I'm going to try and do four videos a week for the next month just to see how it goes um, while I'm feeling good and hopefully it works out. So my original plan was going to be to do Saturday, Sunday and then Monday and Wednesday extra but then I've realised that that's going to be Saturday, Sunday, Monday in a row and I don't know if that's like too much K in one go. <laughs> so my next plan would be Saturday, Sunday and then Tuesday, Thursday so that it kind of breaks it up through the week. Let me know what you want to do, <laughs> it's all up to you guys. Um, I will make a poll I guess I could do on my community tab so if you want to have a say then just go over there. I may also put it on Instagram. So yeah, I'll put it on Instagram, I'll put it on YouTube, I'll try and figure out what's going to be the best. I don't really think it matters. A lot of you don't watch straight away anyway but anyone who does watch I always appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I just, I feel like I'm in a good place right now and I just want to share my life a lot more too. So while I'm feeling good, I thought, why the heck not? I'm going to go and have a shower because I am rather grubby. <laughs> um, I hope you're all having a great weekend. Here in the UK, it is another bank holiday. So many recently. So I hope that those of you who are having one, I hope you have a really great long weekend. Um, and I will see you all again in my next video. Who knows when that's going to be? Maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after. <laughs> but I will see you all again very, very soon. Bye guys. Bye.